Hello everyone and thank you for tuning in. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Access Center tool in Cinema 4D. So let's jump right to it. Here we have uh, three models that I got from a client and these are CAD models and you know they, these usually have a lot of triangles and things are not properly where they're supposed to be. You know names are, are all screwed up like this. Uh, so let's start with this one. Here we, I, I needed to animate this door closing in and, and as you can see where the axis is right now that was that wasn't going to do it so i mean i could do the the usual thing of just you know trying to eyeball it but i'm going to show you the the better option so if you go to mesh and then axis center and pull out your axis center tool this is a tool that we're going to use and there's a lot of options here that that can really play to your advantage so let's uh, let's focus on centering the axis first. So what we're gonna what I like to do is go into the viewport solo single so I can focus on what I'm doing, and we need to go to edge mode. If you go if you see here and you set this to um, action axis to, you have options of where you want to center the axis to. So let's go with selected edges and this let's just leave everything else at zero. So if we want to have the axis. Um, center to where these holes are so that we can rotate the, the door around it, right? Um, so yeah, I already have a, an edge selection here, but I recommend that you just um, make an edge selection like this. And if you go back to your uh, model mode, you can see where, where the axis is right now. So let's execute and that's gonna center your axis in the right place. We're halfway there. Um, but right now the axis is, uh, we can rotate this in, in the actual um, angle that we need it to, right? So that's where the second option is going to come in handy, the alignment option. And for this, we're going to um, select all because we want to um, align all of the axis to that angle. And instead of the world, we're going to do selected edge. And let's go back to the edge mode. Um, now we need to select an edge that has kind of the same angle that we want to have in the end. And for this, it's pretty easy because it's it's a door. So you can be basically just select um, any edge that, that's in the same angle. Um, we go back to the to the model mode and then without, uh, without center selected, just al alignment, we click execute. And now we have this in the right, uh, if you go to the object um, axis, now we have this in the right um, angle that we need it in. Uh, so for the second um, example, we're gonna do the tire. And if, if I rotate this tire right now, you can see that the, the axis is not in the right place at all. So same thing, we're gonna go to solo viewport, go to edge mode, and here we can actually do a, a loop selection because of the, the geometry is good. So we're gonna do one here. And since since we need the, the axis right in the center of the tire, we need to do another selection. Or actually, let me just show you what's, what that's gonna do. So we, uh, we go to uncheck alignment and click center, axis to um, selected edges, and this is gonna center it to this part of the tire so this is why I, this is why here we need another edge selection so that we can center it to the center of the tire so if we go back to the um, to edge mode and we just make another selection here like that and click execute then we have the axis in the right place where we need it now if we rotate this it's rotating like it's uh, the tire is supposed to rotate and for my last example, I'm going to show you a situation that requires a couple of steps to completely fix, but I think it's going to be worth it. So this, this happens often, right? We have a, a parent null with objects inside where the objects kind of have the, the axis in the right position. For example, this kind of has the, the, the axis in the right position, right? At least it's like centered uh, where the object is, but the parent null is completely off. So we can use the Axis Center tool to fix that as well. Um, if Let me show you first what I've, I've seen most people doing, right? So these are the default settings that you're gonna find the Axis Center to. And if you 
click include children and use all objects and execute that's going to center the axis yes but it's also moving everything out of the position where you had it and that's not what we want so if i undo that there's a uh, an option here under action called parent to and that's going to look to whatever you have selected and recenter or remove your parent to that position right so let's go with let's go with this that kind of has the, the the axis in the right place let's uncheck alignment and uncheck include children and just leave position and rotation and remember action is set to parent tool and we have this object selected we execute and watch the uh, the null here so now we have the null in the exact same place where the axis for this object is right but for example for this we want the axis right in the middle of this uh, cylindrical shape so for that we need to fix this one and again um, we do uh, an edge selection which i already have here right uh, go back to the to model mode and instead of parent i want to center the axis to uncheck use all objects and selected edges execute and now let's align it to let's align all and to the selected edge now if we leave this selected and go back to center and do the parent too because the, the null is the parent and execute now we have the parent in the in the right position here if i go get out of my i had the axis tool selected now we have the whole thing rotating in the right place but we can actually take this a step further and properly align the axis um, to where they're supposed to be if you see here the the y-axis is looking completely to the wrong direction right so again we if we want to fix the the parent null we need to fix at least one of the objects in the hierarchy so let's fix this one um, so to be able to align this to the, the the right place we actually need to select an axis so we're, we're going to select the y-axis which is what we want to fix and with the selected edge that we already have selected here don't forget we click execute and now we have the y-axis looking in the right direction and if we want to take it another step further we can um, actually align these ed uh, this axis to the world coordinates too so if we we already have the y-axis aligned so let's select one of the other axis let's do the x-axis and go to world and execute now if you look at this icon here everything correlates to the world axis right so we go to center parent two we have this selected execute and now this null this parent null is properly aligned where we want it so that's pretty much it thank you so much for watching if you have any questions uh, please let me know and i hope to see you on the next one